Hey, it's Dr. K from my medical school, and today's going to be a short video on monobactam antibiotics. The reason it's going to be so short is that there's only one clinically available formulation for monobactams, and it's called astreonam, that can be given through the IV. Now, monobactams, or astreonam, covers most aerobic gram-negative infections. In addition, it also covers Pseudomonas aeruginosa. There's no activity against gram-positive anaerobic bacteria. So generally, this is a fairly strict gram-negative coverage. I generally use astreonam as an alternative agent for gram-negative infections. So generally, for like healthcare-associated pneumonia, I would use vancomycin, zosin, as well as cipro. Zosin and cipro for double pseudomonal coverage. Now, if a patient is penallergic, I would use astreonam in place of zosin because it would give me gram-negative coverage and pseudomonal coverage, which is what I'm looking for. Of note, astreonam is eliminated by the kidneys, so that should bear in mind when you are placing someone on this antibiotic. It does have a rare cross-reactivity with uh, penicillins and cephalosporins, so if someone does have an allergy, just be aware. So if you like this video, give it a like. If you have any comments or any ideas for future videos, place them down below and subscribe. This is Dr. K from my medical school, and I'll see you next time.